If you've chosen to work with Sketch, exporting your artwork will be a breeze, so long as you've taken some of the steps outlined in previous videos to ensure your artwork is dividable or can be multiplied by two for retina or non-retina screens alike. So when I'm exporting my artwork for developers, what I like to do is go through all of my original artwork and just simply take out any icons that I see within the design and put it into a separate document. The reason for this is, is at a later date, if something needs to change or if you need to swap out any icon sets, it's much easier to do it from this single file rather than have to do it or search for it through multiple graphic files that you might have going on. So I always export into a file that looks like this and the grey boxes in the background are simply to make sure you can see any of the white icons. They won't actually be exported in the process. So the first thing is to just go through and check that your icons are the right sizes and by the right sizes I mean that they are dividable by two or if you're starting with non-retina artwork that they can be multiplied by two. So I'm just going through and checking here on this right hand side where you see the sizes I'm just checking that they are all the correct sizes for each one of these and that we haven't got any anomalies within this they all look fine 30 by 30 and they're all the same size now in sketch the easiest way to do this is simply to have a look at the folders on this left hand side and just rename these to something that's logical so I'm going to put icon delete and go ahead and name this one as icon edit. What we then want to do is select each of these icons leaving out the masks that are on the bottom so it's easiest to group these into one large section so if you see in here those are all of our background rectangles we're not actually going to export those you can toggle those on and off but as you see that's why they're there in the first place to show up those icons so we're going to leave those out and simply select all of the rest of the icons within our pack. We're going to go up to File and then Add Slices for Selection. And you'll see that this puts a border around all of our icons for easy exporting. We then want to have a look over in the right panel. It's going to say what the name of the icon is, so you can rename that to anything that you want there if there is, a, is an error in that. And we also want to select Also Export At. And for this, we want to click half size at 1x for each of these. This is the only manual part of the process, which is clicking this and half size for each of these individual icons that you're going through. So you just have to make sure that you're clicking on each of these. So we're just going to go through and check that we're doing that for each of these icons. Small price to pay for your artwork being exported for you, I promise. And then we're going to go ahead and just click export all and we're going to export that to our images folder and just double check that you've selected that the format is PNG and go ahead and export those out. And what that should do is nicely put everything into a folder so within there you have your retina and non-retina artwork already scaled for you with no stray pixels, beautifully exported automatically via sketch for you.